Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome to another Piestas book reviews. Today we're going to talk about thrillers, namely The Leopard by Joe Nesbo. It's a book that I just finished reading. Actually, it was part of a marathon, uh, the September Thrills uh, marathon. We're supposed to read thrillers throughout the month of September. Uh, picked up this one in the beginning of the month and dig right through it. Uh, it took me like, I don't know, a week of uh, nightly readings, one, two hours a night. Uh, to to finish it it's quite thick very uh, very big in terms of storyline uh, it follows a bit the formula that Joel Nesbo did for these kind of thrillers this is the eighth book on the Harry Hole series um, detective in Norway who uh, has to chase down serial killers I've read all of the Harry Hole uh, books before so um, I knew well what I was uh, getting myself into uh, it was nice to catch up with some characters figure out what happened to Harry after the previous book and also a few other characters that also showed up on previous books there are some new characters some recurring ones um, Harry still has a very hard time uh, keeping his uh, his addictions in check, but still has a very sharp mind trying to figure out who the bad guy is. A formula that John Esbo has been perfecting through many, many years and it's still used very well. I had to take like a short break from reading these books because the formula started to seem like too repetitive in a way. It wasn't always the same, but it felt like I was already kind of predicting where he was going. And I'm glad that I made these uh, this hiatus on the series because this one felt really good. I, I dove right into it. I enjoyed it. Had a lot of uh, places where you clearly could see that Joe Nesbo was writing about this specific character to mislead you in some ways. Uh, but that was part of the charm of, of, the, of the thriller and trying to figure out to what extent is it um, laying down grounds for you to understand more than the detective does for to help you figure out the story and which part is he doing per doing it purposefully to misdirect you into thinking about other characters there are a few characters that have some a few chapter presences here like for example uh, beavis and uh, the volcano expert that completely tried or even the one of the de detectives from uh, from up north that they are clearly trying to misdirect you into thinking that they could probably be the killer um, and Harry Hole just hasn't figured it out yet but uh but yeah love the formula still managed to have like some twists in the end which was uh, still welcome I remember a few of the books from John Nesbo before I felt like it had too much twists in the end like it was like three or four of them and this one kept it a little bit more simple and I I, I liked it I I thought it was on point I gave this book five books five stars out of uh, five um so I really enjoyed it looking forward to reading more of the Harry Hole saga but I'm um, not sure if I'm going to read it straight away or if I'm going to give it like uh, a few months at least to um, forget a bit about the formula or digest something else. Not quite sure. Anyways, uh, this is completely read standalone. Like every single thing that uh, is mentioned from previous Harry Holes is explained and introduced as in as if you are reading it for the first time. So it's completely readable standalone but it, it's always better in terms of um, story timeline if you read the whole series so I would recommend that um, I went back and forth a few but now I'm trying to keep it like one at a time uh, going up and I think it's it's 12 or 13 of them that been released and this is like the eighth so I still have quite a few to read anyways um Always a pleasure to read Joe Nesbo, one of the best thriller writers out there, in my humble opinion. Uh, let me know what you think on the comments below. If you read it, if you didn't, have, if you haven't read it, if you're interested, um, any questions, feel free to post. And that's it for me. A good recommendation. Do recommend people to check it out. Uh, see you next video. Bye bye, everyone. Take care.